Morning legends. I have just had a great meeting with um, a guy who is the head of the Sports Federation in WA, just chatting about cricket mentoring and how we can possibly get some funding um, from government bodies to run um, some community programs um, at schools and also going into the Aboriginal community in remote Australia, which is something I really want to do. Um, got takeaway coffee for Will, who's at home doing some editing of um, yesterday's vlog. Um, we'll get that up this afternoon. Uh, we've got a podcast set up with Hilton Ackerman, H.D. Ackerman, look him up. He's a former captain of South Africa. He now lives here in Perth and is a coach. So really looking forward to chatting to him. Um, obviously the third test between Australia and South Africa starts this afternoon, so keen to get his views on that and hear about his story and his journey. Um, so we'll be giving you an insight into that later today. Um, and then no coaching, no training, um, just a lot of admin, a lot of content creation and a lot of planning. Trying to keep these videos interesting for you guys, trying to keep them frequent. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, anything you want to see, anything you want me to do, uh, leave a comment below. Um, we're always replying to our comments, we want to interact with you guys on here. So leave a comment legends. Hey vlog, lots happening here at Cricket Mentoring HQ, Will is getting stuff ready for the um, podcast we got happening today. We've got today's vlog being uploaded. We've got all sorts going on on the side of the computer here. I'm using my phone because the camera, which we normally use, both the uh, SD cards are being used for the vlog. Um, we've just published the podcast we recorded last week with Sam Whiteman. We've got Hilton Ackerman today. Um, here's our all the equipment in the bathroom here that we're going to be using um, for the podcast. It's all happening. Trying to produce as much content as we can for you guys. Trying to give you guys as much value as we can. Um, it's a big operation and things don't always go to plan. We had a few technical um, issues this morning, but we're doing our best to help you guys. Duncan Fletcher. So uh, when, I, when I made my debut for, for Western Province, uh, which is the side, the, the side based in Cape Town, he was, he was the coach. Um, and he just allowed you the freedom to to try things, to express yourself. Failure was part of the game. You know, he made you understand that. Um, the the real difficulty for me was the fact that because my my father was involved in the in the inner circles of cricket in Cape Town, was whenever I got picked for a side, it was am I being picked because I'm the son? You know, why am I why am I here? And and that took a little bit of time for me to for me to get over that. Um, even if my results were good, it always. And that's my own fault. That was my own negativity and my own mind playing games with myself. I was always concerned, what are others thinking? And it probably hindered my, my career in a way, in that maybe I could have had, had a better career if I was a little bit more um, positive about my, my own ability. Got picked to play the second test match against Pakistan in Durban. Uh, got a half century in my, in my first innings. Um, and while it was a massive difference because you had Waka Yunus, you show back to Al Mushtaq uh, in, in the next test match, Wazim Akram joined those three. So it, it was an incredible attack to play against. You know, when you play your state cricket, you've probably got two or three guys that, that, that are decent bowlers and one that you can catch up with. You know, in test cricket, it was just relentless. You know, it really was all about the, the mental side of the game. Um, and did a right against Pakistan, then came across a guy by the name of Mutar Muralithran in Sri Lanka, and he bowled me out. I'd never seen anything like this before. And if I, if I go back, Bob Woolmer was the coach at the time for South Africa, and what, as exceptional a coach as, as he was, um, I don't remember him ever saying to me, look, bat on off stump. You know, he, he, he spins the ball prodigiously, he bowls the ball miles outside off stump, just working through the leg side. I don't remember him ever saying that. And... Um, I remember we played at Newlands and I batted at three and I got in and I got to 20 and, I, and he came on to bowl. For the first time I was now going to play against this guy and he had a mid off, he had a silly point and he had a slip and I looked at this and I thought, I'm going to crucify you. You cannot bowl to a field like this. And I went down the wicket, tried to hit him through extra cover, caught and bowled 20, you know, and realized, okay, hold on a second, this guy is, is something special. Hey vlog, just finished a brilliant interview with uh, Hilton HD Ackerman. Um, he was a very, very um, insightful character, a very knowledgeable cricketer, and now a very um, high-level coach. 
um, coaching young uh, teenagers here in Perth, um, was involved in high performance coaching in South Africa, played test cricket, awesome interview, awesome podcast, so make sure you check that out when that becomes live next Thursday. You will have seen a little snapshot from it, um, really, really great content, and it's great to be connecting with these high-level um, people, successful people, high-level coaches, um, high-level cricketers, and learn from them, learn from their story. Um, it was great that um, Hilton had so many similar beliefs and thoughts and philosophies and ideas um, as what myself and Simon do and what we teach in our peak performance program, those sort of things, all about the mindset, the emotional skills, etc. So pump for that. Um, looking forward to uh, the rest of the afternoon now. Quiet evening, quiet afternoon here at uh, Cricket Men- Mentoring HQ. Going to watch the footy. The AFL starts here in Australia tonight. Aussie Rules. Big Aussie Rules fan. For those of you that don't know, I'm a Collingwood fan. Up the pies. Hopefully they have a successful year. But just going to punch out some work while the footy's on and, and have a nice quiet evening. Hey vlog. It is quarter past nine. I'm just at home doing some admin and finally going through a number of emails that I haven't had a chance to get back to yet. Um, it's not a part of the job that I particularly enjoy sitting here replying to emails, but I, I do... Try and get back to everyone, try and get back to as many as I can. Um, but I have got an email here that I want to read out that is um, really, really sort of quite touching and, and quite special to receive. Um, I've taken the name off the email so that uh, nobody knows who it is, but there it is. Um, and it says, Hi Tom, first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you for the content you provide that, that has helped me as a cricket out coach and a person to think about 10 months ago I was struggling with depression in cricket and wanting to quit cricket and now I feel my mental game is stronger than ever. Anyways, I'm planning on investing money in the peak performance program and can't wait to get started with it. I'm working towards um, being a mental coach as well as a career coach for my company um, as it is something I'm really passionate about and and wished I had the knowledge 10 months ago and I want to help people who work in the same position, who were in the same position I was in. Um, And he, he goes on to say a few other things, but... It's, um, it's great to, to hear that sort of thing. Um, myself and Simon um, and all our other mentors, Jamesy, our leg spin mentor, Reedy, um, Bavi, but um, mostly Simon and I, we spend a lot of time uh, on providing content, producing content, and trying to give as much value as we can for our community. Um, we do sell online programs, um, which we believe are very, very good and very beneficial, but we give so much content away for free and we ask for nothing in return. Um, and we do that to help as many people as we can. We do that so that we can make an impact like we have done with this person. Um, and it's great to, great to hear that we've, we've helped um, him overcome depression and, and get his mental game um, stronger than ever, as he, as he mentioned it. So... Love receiving messages like that. Um, and just a tip for you guys, not just um, when you contact us, but when you contact anyone. I know we've got a lot of young people that watch this. Um, if you contact someone and you want something from them, we obviously get contacted by a lot of people wanting help with their game. It's so much better for us to receive a message from someone who starts out by saying, thanks for all that you've done, you've really helped me, I really appreciate everything you've done, would you please help me with this? Rather than someone who just goes, I'm struggling with this, what should I do? Which I find incredibly rude, there's no hello, Um, they just expect our services, they expect our time, and while we do our best to answer those people, we certainly don't prioritise them, we'll always prioritise people with manners, people who are compassionate, and people who would just, just come across as being genuine and being nice. And that's just something that everybody needs to understand in their life is if you're asking for something for free or you're asking for something in return, give some value first. Give something in return. And and for us, where we give up hours and hours of our day, tens of hours throughout our week, Simon and I, to reply to people, it's mostly Simon at the moment on social. He's spending most of the time in there getting back to everyone as I'm doing loads of other things and, and replying to emails, but just just a, 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 as simple as saying thanks for everything you guys do goes a long way for to f- us helping you. And like I said, not just for us, but if you're going to go for a job in the future or you're going to contact someone, reach out to them on social media, always start with, with thanking them for what they do or giving them value before you ask for something in return. I think that's it's really important. So... 
great email to receive. Um, Going to wrap up for the night, 9.30. Uh, I've got some more emails to get through, lots more to do. Um, great day today. Had a, a wonderful interview with Hilton, um, as I've already spoken about. Really enjoyed connecting with him and hearing his story. Completely different background to myself, but someone who um, has a lot of um, beliefs and ideas the same as myself and Simon. So um, on that note, thanks for watching. You're all bloody legends. Really do appreciate you guys. We're creeping up towards 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which will be um, awesome to tick over that. We're creeping up to nearly 50,000 followers on Instagram, which again will be a big milestone for us. We're gonna um, keep giving you as much content, keep giving you as much value as we can. Even though the season here in Australia has ended for, for Simon in New South Wales and me here in Perth, we're gonna do our best to keep providing you with content. Um, as I said this morning, tell us what you wanna see. We'll do our best. We might. Um, start setting up some more things to, to answer questions and, and interact with you guys given that we can't document our own season or my season as much um, so thanks legends really appreciate you all be kind to each other be kind to yourself um, I, I, that's just reminded me I've just watched a really powerful um, video about how social media can be used for bullying um, and there was yeah I, I, something I, I'm going to share at some point, to probably tomorrow on my own social media, but I, I, I think that people who are bullies are, are bullies because they have hurt themselves. They're either very insecure or they've got their own issues, and then they bully others to try and make themselves feel better. Um, so I have compassion for bullies. Um, I have empathy for bullies, but um, it doesn't justify them to then go and try and be hurtful towards someone else. But... I think it's really important that as human beings we, we be kind to ourselves, we be compassionate to ourselves and if we make mistakes, if things don't go our way or we're not as good as we want to be at something at any particular time, got to be kind to ourselves, got to just move on, um, learn from the experience and really be kind to ourselves. If you can't be kind to yourself, it's hard to be kind to others. If you, if you love yourself, you can love others. So really spend time being compassionate towards yourself and, and loving yourself. Um, and not in an egotistical way, not in an arrogant way, but really in an in a, um, empathetic um, human being, understanding that you make mistakes kind of way. Um, and I wish I knew that when I was younger, but I'm lucky. Um, my DNA, my sort of upbringing, I was always a very sort of happy, positive person. Um, but not everyone's like that, so just try and be kind to yourself um, and really just embrace that you're going you're gonna to have struggles in life. Um, on that note, legends, there's enough of a rant or, or a storytelling or some, some stuff from me. So hope you're all having a great day and um, please like, comment, share, do all that stuff. Help us um, get to our 10K as quick as we can. And um, I look forward to hear, speaking to you and hearing from you guys in the comments hopefully soon. Cheers, legends.